Good morning pilgrims, it is day three on the Camino Frances and today we have a 21 kilometer day to an amazing city and that is Pamplona, the running of the bulls, of course one of my favorite cities on the Camino and today I woke up and my albergue, that was my window back there with a great view and here in the river around seven in the morning I just had breakfast, I had a cafe con leche, I had a tortilla española and my first Napolitano on the trip. Let's get the day started. Today it is October 1st, 2021, and it's a very chilly morning, like 46 degrees Fahrenheit. I have 5.5 kilometers to La Rosagna, the town where I stay uh, last time. I have the elevation profile here, and as you can see, it is very favorable, and I will be doing something that I haven't done on my first Camino, and that is I will take the river walk into Pamplona. I didn't know about it at the time, but later I found out. I have to also say that there are more pilgrims on this Camino than when I did it in 2017 in April. You know, this morning while I was enjoying my cafe, I saw a couple of uh, the French pilgrims that I've been walking with along the Via Podiensis, and they came to me and they wanted to know what was the app that I was using for uh, communicating in France, which is Google Translate. So I guess the shoe is now on the other foot. Now they're relying on the application to be able to communicate here in Spain, and I can just speak freely for the first time in a month. I uh, met a couple of pilgrims yesterday, Spaniards, who were just having a blast uh, last night. And right now, of course, I'm fast approaching a factory. A factory that on my first Camino, I was, uh, I was warned to avoid. They said that you could hear the sounds of the factory in Subiri and that you should continue on walking to La Roasaña, which I did, but as it turns out, you don't hear anything in Subiri from this factory. The, on the positive side, it made day three into Pamplona that was uh, shorter, and it allowed me to spend the entire afternoon exploring that amazing city. You could do the same, it's up to you. Yesterday, in the afternoon, I saw people coming into Subiri, and then a few minutes later, just walking out. Why? because the municipal albergue is closed and all the private ones are running at limited capacity.
yes, La Rasuana. I'm back, baby. This is where I had my Wilson moment, if you remember. Now I have another Wilson, where is it? Right there behind me. This one is gonna make it to Logroño. And if I find another pilgrim that's going all the way to Santiago and wants to take it, by all means, I'm gonna give it to him with the only condition that he sends me a picture of him holding the staff in front of the cathedral. We'll be following the Arga River all the way to the next town where I'm gonna be having my uh, freshly squeezed orange juice. And hopefully in the next one in Surian, I will be having lunch by the medieval bridge that they have there. When I dip my feet in the cold water, I brought my uh, flip flops and I also brought my towel. So we get to walk a little bit by the side of the road. And I just had my uh, mid-morning snack, my first freshly squeezed orange juice of the trip. And I also had a little muffin. Up ahead is the bridge where I wanna go and dip my feet in the water, a decision that I might regret because it is still cold and that water is gonna be freezing because I did it yesterday in Subiri and it took a while for my feet to warm up after that. So we're done with Surian, Suriain, of course. And uh, yes, beautiful day so far. A lot of pilgrims, man, in that cafe. There was just so many. I mean, compared to when I was here, when was it, in April of 2017? It was a world of a difference. Back then, I think there were like five pilgrims there in total. And now there were like over 20. So yes. Let's continue. Look at this. Do you see this guy that's just about to pass me on a bicycle? Well, seconds after I hit stop, he passed me by and a cat cut him off and he crashed into uh, the trash can that was there and landed on his back. I had to like help him get on his feet, catch his breath, and then slowly get back on his bicycle and continue. So, you know, just another day on the Camino. 
and here is the bridge and the river Arga, of course. And uh, stop for a little bit just to uh, have a little bit of a snack. I still have some leftover wines from uh, yesterday. I have cheese, I have uh, an apple. What else do I have? I think that's enough, right? Enough for what I'm about to do. That water is just gonna be cold, cold, cold. Well, too late to back down, so let's just do it right now. a great spot for a lunch break if you're planning to do the same as I did I highly recommend you do it facing that bridge by the water stream the water was extremely cold and by the end my feet were numb but it doesn't matter because I got to sit down and enjoy the rest of my supplies past the 75% of the way for today but it doesn't matter because we're still gonna enjoy the rest of the stage it is warm it is getting hot and by the time I make it to the next bridge it's gonna be a split in the road I can follow the original Camino or the official Camino that takes you through the city but better yet I'm thinking about taking the alternative route that follows the river the entire way to Pamplona. didn't do it last time but I will do it now Here's the town of Arres and here's where the split takes place. It is not marked, of course, and in my first Camino I follow the official path, which is still nice, but it takes you through the city. We have an alternative route here that follows the river the entire way. I guess this is what the locals keep as a secret. This is where they work out, where they run, and I have it on my GPS tracks. So I'm going to follow this even though it's just a little bit longer. In case you need to go back into the city, like kind of like at the halfway point, they get very close together and you can just cross another bridge and go inside the city. But I will follow all of this all the way to the historic city center. Well, here we go following the river. This is much nicer than going through the city. You don't have to worry about the traffic or crossing busy streets. Here, you're under the shade of the canopy. You see cyclists and people jogging. I guess the locals going about their business. And I haven't seen another uh, pilgrim. But once you uh, leave the split on the road, you do get to see yellow arrows and scallop shells. So it's not like you're going by blind. You can always download my GPS tracks and you can follow those. I highly recommend that detour and right here is where the two connect each other with each other once again but of course I'm not gonna continue I'm gonna go follow the river for the rest of the way if you like you can go that way and you know maybe uh, make it a little bit shorter but if I decided I'm gonna follow the river I'm gonna do it all the way this is not like a an extremely gorgeous uh, city uh, river walk 
but it is better than walking through the city center and just like the outskirts that's like the what is it like the suburbs of Pamplona I can already see up ahead the historic city center yes the final push into Pamplona a city that I love so much look at all those castles man the drums and nemesis but I can fly careful I can avoid him I always have So finally made it to Pamplona at 3 p.m. in the afternoon. And as it turns out, at least for the time being, the whole city is a no-fly zone. But I got to film before I got it to the gate. And I guess you're gonna have to enjoy this drone compilation from 2017. Heading straight to uh, the hostel right now, where my room awaits, and a great night tonight here in this great city. It's been quite a busy afternoon here, lazy afternoon of course, in Pamplona, just walking around, exploring this beautiful city, going to the cathedral, where I paid three euros to visit it. It does uh, with a pilgrim discount. I also got the stamp there, and at the municipal albergue, because the one at the hostel where I'm staying, uh, I don't like it. After that, I just went on a tapas spree, just going, getting tapas from different places, drank already like two beers. I've been seeing all the pilgrims throughout the city in different spots. And uh, yeah, I guess I'm gonna call it a day because the sun is going down and tomorrow we have El Alto del Perdón, which we have to climb uh, at the halfway point of the day. It's gonna be an interesting day and there's also rain in the forecast for Sunday. Today is uh, Friday, so two days from now, can't believe it, the rains is gonna cut up with me as I get closer and closer to Logroño. 
So I guess I'll see you all tomorrow around 8 o'clock.